What's up, guys? So I am done for the day. Um, Three hundred ninety dollars, forty-five fifty in commissions, and uh, fifteen tickets. So I basically just took one trade, um, ARDX. Um, so on the daily level, as you can see, it gapped up. Uh, I had a hard time continuing to go higher. Um, so it was pretty much near the top of where it was, um, at 11, um, 80 ish or whatnot. Um, that's when I went short. Um, it's just hanging in there on the daily level, like just floating. Um, it did hit the 11, this is where it's struggling at, which is like the 1140, 1130 level. And you can see here, there's actually a level here. I'm trying to, oh, there you go. So there's actually there a level there. If you go over here, you see that there's a daily level there. Um, this, so this would be the upper boundaries of the high level. Uh, so it basically had a hard time going up. Um, now it's just losing it. Um, on the 15 minute, this is what it did look like. So what I saw was it gapped up. Um, it hit this level, had a hard time breaking it, um, and then it hit this level, which was a form of level of resistance right here, um, and basically it just couldn't break it, so it went back down, and it was gapping down when I did my first, uh, had my first foray right into it, so I saw this as an opening range breakdown, went short, and then I covered it on the way down, um, and then I did a something stupid, um, which is again, you see this, um, actually, this is a bad chart. Um, on my, on my one minute. On my one minute, you see how uh, I went short. Uh, or number one is the first time I went short I got stopped out, so I went short, it popped up, stopped out. Uh, second time I went short again, and then I covered, okay? I took a bigger position. So this one, it was just feeling the water, small size, did go up, so I knew I had to go down short and covered really quickly. Uh, pop up, and then I saw these lines coming down. I thought they were gonna break it, so I went short, added um, to my position. Um, I was able to cover some on the drop, but not all of it, um, and then it popped up on me. So it popped up, I saw that it couldn't go any uh, higher up. On the way down, I went, sh I added to my uh, short position. Um, it went down, pop up again, um, so I added. Um, I waited for this pullback, and then I decided whether to um, get out at a loss or uh, hold it. Um, but I saw that the high here was 12 bucks, and then the high here was 12.08, uh, 12.18 and 12.79. So basically it's lower highs. Um, and then as these uh, EMAs are about to cross the SMA, I felt more confident about that move. So on the way down as it hit the um, SMA, I basically covered. Um, in retrospect, I probably should have held it for this drop here, um, waited for it to, to cross. But uh, I was a little impatient, so I got out. Um, also, I was looking at my PL and I saw that I made my daily goal, so I was gonna get out. Um, this stock is pretty versatile, uh, volatile. Um, but the other thing I wanted to point out, which is um, when I thought about entering this trade later on, for this reason, is there's this level here. It held it for one, two, three. Held it for basically five minutes, the eleven thirty nine. Another way dropped it bounced off of this level. So whatever this level is, I couldn't find it. Uh, oh, wait, hold on, I think this is the daily level. So anyway, this is this daily level here, 1130 something, right here. So it, keep, it kept bouncing off this level. Um, and once it broke it, notice this huge drop from 1139 down to $11. So it's a big, Big drop. So anytime it breaks a level, it just gets dumped. Um, I wasn't part of that. I was up here, uh, but I made my money, so I'm gonna stop. Um, so that's it for me. Hopefully, you guys have a good day too.